Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside the NBN Foo, The Final Gamble, second edition. This is a game designed by Kim Kanger and published by Legion War Games. I had the first edition and I never had a chance to play it. I'd read through the rulebook and I had been trying to find time to sit down and play because there is a time commitment involved in playing this game. It's not something you could throw down and play in two or three hours. When I found out they were coming out with a second edition and that the second edition was going to have significant changes, practically an overhaul of the map, the counters, the... Uh, the rules and how all of that worked in conjunction, I figured, you know what, let me sell my my first edition and just get a hold of the second edition, which is what I did. And we're gonna take a look and see what this game's all about. The Final Gamble, 13 March to 7 May 1954. In late 1953, France wished to establish a strong presence around the airfields located in the Viet Minh hinterland. Viet Minh had been troubled by this since their failure at Nassan during 1952-53. When French forces occupied the valley of Dien Bien Phu with a force equal to a division, the Viet Minh leadership knew that they had to retake the valley. This time they had to do it right, because they were about to commit half of their entire battle force and failure was therefore not an option. France in their turn ended up committing almost all all elite units there, increasing the stakes on both sides, especially as peace talks had begun in Geneva and Switzerland. What had started as a jumping point for infiltration in the highlands had now turned into a siege battle where the defeated side would be dealt such a blow to its prestige that it would have great difficulty continuing the war. It was indeed the final gamble. And has the game components here, a 22 by 34 inch map, 24 page rulebook, 352 counters, 4 player aid charts, and the game scale is companies to battalions, 150 meters per hex, three days per game turn, and for the full game, it will take you 12 plus hours to play. And uh, it says here, one to two players, game complexity is medium and solitaire suitability is medium high. And you've got a, kind of a small example of the counters and the map on the back of the box there, but let's take a look inside and see what you get. All right, we got our 2D6 and some baggies. And we've got a list of errata here, just one piece of errata for the game, which is good that they caught that before it got out. There's your 24 page full color rule book. Counters. And our map and player aid. So let's set up the map and take a look inside the game. And here is the map that comes with Dien Bien Phu, the Final Gamble second edition. Uh, for the most part, it looks like it's the exact same map. There have been some minor graphical changes that I can tell off the top from uh, the strong points from, in comparison to the first edition. But uh, those who have played the first edition can correct me here if I'm wrong uh, in uh, missing a part here on the map that may have changed. But Isabella's off on the side. The rest of the area is here that you're going to be fighting in along with all of the tracks and charts that you're going to need are easily laid out here on the map for you to reach and use. You have your wounded for the French, French artillery zone markers, French bombardment, and then the gone boxes over here. Then you have medicine track, French ammunition track, food and bullets track, fuel and spares track, and the fuel shortage track, as well as Hanoi Air Base, Hanoi's answer, reinforcements available, weather table, condor force, and then your airdrop chart for the French and the two Laos one and two boxes. And on the Viet Minh side, they're gonna have a replacement track, division morale track, supply hit table, reinforcements, and artillery zone markers, removed foldback off map units, and then the ammo track here on the top of those boxes. And then you have Ben Collet and trenches of the 304th division boxes down here on the left-hand side for transferring units through trenches. Then on the top of the map, you have your game turn track and your terrain effects chart that explains all of the terrain on the map and associated movement costs and their effects on combat. And we'll take a look at our counters here. We've got two sheets of counters. Your Viet Minh are in red, the French are in blue. You've got admin counters for the Viet Minh and admin counters for the French for food, fuel, ammo, replacements. And then we've got some control markers, surprise, assault, disorganized, shaken, as well as some other units here on the second sheet. These are not the easy punch counters that the first edition had. The first edition, they came um, wrapped up in a bag to protect them from falling out because they literally fell out the minute you took them out of the uh, counter tray. These ones will punch, but they're they're sticking in there. They, they will punch easy, but they're sticking in there pretty good. So just bear that in mind when you go to punch these counters. Take a look at our player aid cards. This is the French combat tables. You have your defense fire table, defense effect table, assault fire table, and the assault effect table. These are all single-sided cards. And you have the same for the Viet Minh. 
Then they have the extended turn sequence, which breaks everything down in color-coded fashion. So you know this is a Viet Minh, this is Viet Minh, and then you have a French segment in here, Viet Minh again, and then French, and then you have your supply phase, and then you start getting into the French side, and then Viet Minh inside the French turns like that. Then you have your Viet Minh trench zone reference map. That, that'll be laid on the side of the table next to the map, so you can reference where the trench zones are. And then you have the scenario setup, which is a breakdown of all the units that are used in the game. And it says here to also see rules section nine for the scenarios. These are the rules for second edition Dian Ben Fu, The Final Gamble. It is 24 pages and it is listed as a version 2.5. Here it does say that they, these are the second edition rules upgraded to version 2.5. Read the rules carefully. Even if you are familiar with the earlier versions, you will find a lot of changes. So something to bear in mind if you are a veteran of the first edition and have been following any of the updates that have been posted out there. And uh, a, a kind of a quick word on Legion War Games. Uh, the rule books are really, really good. The clarity is fantastic in the rule books and uh, really pretty easy to understand and get into their games. I think they do a great job at that. So uh, hats off to the people at Legion War Games. Uh, Randy does a great job in making sure that his games are pretty clear to learn and easy to read and uh, get on the table. So we start off with the basics, opponents, game turn map, strong points and trench zones, units, the values of movement, stacking, step losses, reinforcements, how that's all handled. Uh, zones of control, lines of communication, so you know how to uh, use your zocks and locks. Artillery zone markers, and then we get into the pre-assault phase. And as we saw in the player aid card, everything is done in sequential order uh, with the Viet Minh first and the French having some reactionary uh, bits inside of the Viet Minh turn. And the same for the French turn uh, when they go secondary, the, the Viet Minh has some reactionary parts of their turn. And it is the rule books laid out in the same way so you can learn it in sequential order. So you got your operational move via bombardment and then commando raids, tactical moves, declare assault or rest, box combat, and then you have your French reaction move, French support barrage, French defense fire, and then the VM assault for the Viet Minh. And then the attrition, the after combat move, the remove add shaken markers. So you get into the admin part of the phase, then morale check. And then we have the replacements and reinforcements, deduct French supply, and now we're starting the French turn. We have French airdrops, airstrikes, operational moves, bombardments, and you can see everything's broken down in different phases. This was the pre-assault phase, now you're into your assault phase, then the post-assault phase for the French. Then you have your tactical moves, box combat, uh, declaring assaults. Then you have your Viet Minh reaction to that support barrage, and their defense fire, and then you have the French assault, French attrition, and then the French after combat move, and then again we get into the admin parts, and then we have the new game turn. Then you have the scenarios here on page 19. So the rules go up to page 18, and they actually start, the rules themselves start on page two. So 16 pages of rules, and then you have scenario A, B, C, and D, and then some notes here from the designer, Kim Kanger, on how to play the Viet Minh, and then how to play France, and then there's full designer's notes for the game, uh, his interpretation of this battle. And then you have the extended game turn sequence, which we saw on the player aid card uh, here on the back of the book. And that is a look at everything you get inside of Dien Bien Phu, the final gamble, second edition, now available from Legion War Games. And if you get to their website, you can still, I believe, jump on the 25% off CPO price. So if you've been considering this game at all, don't hesitate, go grab yourself a copy. Uh, know if you've not already played any of Legion War Games uh, titles, know that their titles are really top-notch quality, uh, great rule books, great components. Uh, so have no fear there when it comes to buying anything from Legion. And uh, go check out some of the others. Uh, Kim Kanger has uh, several titles over there, which I've already covered some on the channel that you can also pick up at the same time you pick up the NBN Fu if you are interested in that. He uh, really has a great knack for that area of the world and uh, covering the conflicts over there. So if you're interested in that region, go check these games out. But I hope that helps you guys out if you've been curious what comes in the second edition here of the NBN Fu. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.